hey everyone welcome back in this excel tutorial we are going to learn about some of the very important functions that are available in excel and these are mathematical and statistics functions so let's quickly understand some of the key functions that you might come across and will be using very frequently so for example finding the maximum uh, of the numbers of the list of uh, you know numbers or the minimum counting average uh, adding absolute function or integer mod so there are you know almost 14 15 functions that will cover in this particular tutorial so these are very common ones and that's why i'm covering it now there are hundreds of functions available in excel and i'll show you how you can get the reference of the functions and all the details about the functions in excel so simply go to google.com and search for microsoft excel functions okay and this is the website that you should be referring for if you are looking for the functions because this is the official website right so go to support you know dot microsoft dot com and here you'll get alphabetical list of excel functions that are available so click on this link here and this is the basic you know uh, the url that you should be referring to and this contains all the excel functions alphabetically so you'll see that there are you know math and trigonom trigonometry financial and there is a categorization of all the functions that are available so the list that I have got is basically just a very minimal list of math and math functions or you know um, the math function or uh, statistical basically function right so if I go to a statistical right so uh, some of the statistical function like average function so they have categorized these functions accordingly and you can go through and get the details of these functions as well say for example if you want to check what the average function does click on that link and it will give you all the details about the average function with examples on this Microsoft website which is official coming from the exact source who has developed Microsoft Excel right so this is the source of information you should be referring to so let's quickly go ahead and understand those functions so that you do not have to basically see what all these functions are about and quickly understand these now these are the common functions so you'll be using them a lot and that's why I'm going to cover these okay so let me create a list of numbers here okay and say for example there is some list of numbers okay now out of this list let me minimize it okay now out of this list if I have to find the max number right so there is a function max and what I can do is I can simply say equal to and then start searching max and you will see that max there is a tooltip as well which returns the largest value in the set of values right so learning functions in Excel becomes really easy once you start following what exactly that function does so just read out you know what exactly this function is all about it ignores logical values and text so basically if there will be any text in the cell that will be ignored it will only um, return the largest value in the set of values so max of the set of values so I can select these values there the range and bracket close and enter and you will see the maximum out of these values is 566 which has been written now the second function is min so equal to min which will return the smallest number in the set of values now the smallest number in this set of values is 33 so it should return the value 33 in this particular range right so it has returned 33 the next function is the count function so if you want to count the number of items basically in the list so you use the count function so you'll say count and it counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers okay so if I say these are the cells and I want to see the count of it okay so select those cells and you will see the count is six because there are six cells right now if I edit this function and increase it to include the other cells which don't, don't contain the value still it will return six because if you see the count function what it says is it says it counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers now because in this particular range four cells don't contain any value and that's why count is still returning six okay if I will add any number there you will see that it will return the count has changed to seven because now it is basically containing a value here okay and the formula is referring to the cells from here till this point okay so that's what the count will do for you the average function right so very common average function will return the average of the values right so we'll be using that a lot so average just say average and 
start typing in average and then it will return the average of the numbers that you choose right so select the range and it will add everything and then provide you the average if you see what average does you will see that it returns the average it is arithmetic mean of its arguments which can be the numbers name arrays or references right so basically we will understand that in the numbers it will return the average of the numbers okay so that's what the average function is all about then we have the median okay the next function is median so what median does so it returns the median of the given numbers okay so if we say median it returns the median or the mid number in the middle right so we have this mean median mode in mathematics so it will return the number in the middle of the set of the given numbers okay so if i say median of the number that are selected in this range you will see that it will return me the medium so first thing it does is it basically you know uh, sorts these out from lowest to largest and then returns the number that is in the mid of the or returns the median of the given number okay so as you see in the tooltip it will return the middle the number in the middle of the set of given numbers okay the next one is the mode mode will return the most common number in the set of numbers so what is the most common number in this set of numbers so the only number that is common is 33 because it is repeated twice right so if i say mode and just write the formula there okay and select all these numbers then it will return me the mode as 33 because 33 is repeated twice okay if i change this number to 45 then the mode is 45 okay or if i change it to something say for example something else then you will see there is no mode because it doesn't have any you know repeated number there okay so that's what the mode is all about okay now in excel 2007 this is the statistical function right so mode function if you go to this this website and let's see search for the mode function so basically in every new release it could be possible that the categorization of the functions uh, change right so at the moment it's you know like compatibility returns the most common value in the data set in excel 2007 this was the statistical function right so you can get all these details here on the official Microsoft website okay so we have understood about the mode as well now what is absolute okay so absolute returns the absolute value of the number okay so say for example I want to have the uh, negative number okay so say for example negative number okay so what absolute does is it will return the absolute value of a number without a sign okay so it will return the positive value and it just accepts the single argument if you'll see in the bracket it just accepts one argument which is number and then this absolute function will return the positive value right so it discards the sign there and will return the value without the sign now what's the next function so after absolute we have this int function so which rounds the number down to the nearest integer okay now say for example i have a number which is 34.4566 uh, right so if i say int then it will round the number down to the nearest integer what it will do is we'll just pass one argument it will it also accepts only one uh, you know argument so we just select that cell which contains that value and if i hit enter you will see that it will round up the number to the nearest you know integer so it will discard anything after the decimals okay that's what the integer function will do all right now the mod will return return the remainder of the division right so modulo or mod v is very common so say for example there is a number 45 okay and i want to use the mod function there and if i say mod then mod accepts a uh, argument right which is which is a number and then the divisor by which number you want to divide it so say for example i want to divide 45 by 5 now 45 is completely divisible by 5 so the mod of 45 divided by 5 will be 0 right so it, it will return the 0 the remainder is 0 after 45 is divided by 5 but if i change the formula and i say 
uh, I want the mod of the value 45 when I divide it by 2 then it will return 1 because when you divide 45 by 2 it will the remainder will be 1 okay so that's what mod function will do then there is a power function which is basically raising the power right so say for example there is a number um, just say 5 and I want to raise it to the power 2 okay so I can say power right and bracket and you'll see that you have the argument to provide the number so select the cell which contains that number and what power you want to raise it to so 5 to the power 2 5 to the power 3 so if i say 5 to the power 2 it should return 25 and because 5 into 5 is 25 right if i say 5 to the power 3 Will return 125 right so power function is very helpful too and it returns the result of the number raised with the power okay then the square root function okay so what what square root function will do is it will return you the square root of the number so say for example 25 and square root of 25 i have to calculate so i'll say square root and then it will return the square root of the number and just select the number so it accepts just one argument and it will return the square root of 25 which is 5 okay the next function is sum function which we have seen a lot already so it will return the sum of the numbers right so say for example i want to add these numbers so let me copy these somewhere else and paste here so i want to add all these numbers so i can use sum function so i can say equal to sum and then provide the range of the number so i select all these cells and close the bracket and it will return the sum of all these numbers here in this cell here okay then round function rounds a number to a specified number of digits right okay so here say so for example i have this number which is four five six seven eight okay and i want to round this number so i'll say round and specify the number that you want to round and then up to how many digits you want to round it okay so say for example after decimal i want to round it to two digits so i specify two as the num digits and close the bracket and hit enter and you will see that it has rounded to 23.46 okay so only two digits are there after the decimal now the next function is the subtotal so what i'll do is i'll cover subtotal as a complete separate tutorial because subtotal is very important function which will be really helpful with the real scenarios and i'll cover it separately so the last function that i want to cover is trunk function which truncates a number to an integer okay so it will truncate the number to an integer so say for example you have a decimal number and you use the trunk function okay so i'll say trunk and you will see that it truncates a number to an integer by removing the decimal okay or fractional part of the number so if i say you know truncate this number okay and the num digits is basically by default zero but you can specify up to which number or how many digits you want to truncate it to so i just specify the cell number there and you will see it truncates this number to 23 okay so it will basically you know remove all the decimal parts from that number and just remove return the integer part fit okay so the trunk function so that's basically all about these important functions that you will be using very frequently in your day-to-day -day excel work so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching